Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 45 Round of 64 match. Uh, we started with brilliant coaching for an additional reroll to each side between Fatal Justice and his High Elves, who was top High Elves, and Malala Noose with his Skaven. In the booth with me is Muppet Pac-Man. Hello. Hello there. Looks like some uh, High Elves are looking for your Chalice Cup, Jim. <laughs> yeah, they were. He got first and second uh, high elves on ladder, fatal justice, which is why I didn't have to play as many games to qualify my high elves. <laughs> <laughs> so I quite like this guy already. Save me playing blood bowl. Absolute best thing that can happen. Um, <laughs> this Skaven team, I think this might have been one of the better Skaven teams because he's, you know, he's got an edge five, which is what you need, isn't it, with a wizard, which he's, which he's getting. Um, against a lot of teams. He's got the stripper. He's got Hack Flem here. Um, so he only had 11 players. But you know, he's got he's got two Edge Fives. And this is kind of Edge Six, right? With uh, two heads. So like, he, he's it's it's like Ghetto Skaven, isn't it? As Gadenik called it the other the other day. Um, he's he's he just, got the absolute tools to win with a wizard. He's just missing the one turner for like the best. Amazing. Number one Skaven team. Well, he's also missing a claw palmer, a deep bench, and a dirty player or two as well, isn't he? But yes, yeah. <laughs> the natural but you only one need the one is, Yeah, the natural one turner is is obviously like massive, massive shift. Yeah, like that's really huge. If you've got a one turner, you can get away with with not much else at all. <laughs> what, yeah. is, uh, what a wild um, guy! Look at this guy. He's got mighty blow, juggernaut, tackle, dodge. And uh, wow. gets an instant Kaz. And so Apple is used on turn one. I hear that. Is that his only tackle? Maybe he should have... Oh no, he's got the gut runner. But maybe he should have protected that tackle a bit better. Yeah, maybe he should have. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he should have. Although, I was unsure why uh, Theo just has put, like, three of his best players on the LOS. Yeah, it was a bit weird, wasn't it? Like he's got these he's got these kind of shitheads. I guess okay, one's kick and he's in the wide zone. <laughs> hey, you moved him, so Oh did he? Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was so one was a kick and one was just a block. I would have yeah. rather put the kick and, and the block on the on He's the got line. the block and the dodge. Oh is that a blitzer? I can, I can never tell. Oh that's a blitzer. He's, he's got a rookie. And he's yeah, the, yeah, he's got a dodge blitzer and a block. They would all been better than on the line than than his guards. Like re yeah. really weird. And now you're missing one guard because he got killed off the LS. Yeah. So just maximizing blocks, pretty much, isn't he? Uh, Malal here. Oh, dangerous <laughs> sidestep. Dangerous sidestep there, dangerous block, wasn't it? Because of the sidestep that gets him out on twos. But I mean, he's got he's got a strength four carrier, so it's not that bad. And yeah, I guess he's, he's still... just out of range with with these guys. Yeah, but the uh, ball carrier doesn't have dodge or uh, two heads, so that would be like the blitz gone if you put him on the ball. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you should probably dodge and just stand on him. Actually, base the ball. What a time to be alive. <laughs> so what is Hackflam and why do we have Hackflam? Uh, he's alright. <laughs> <laughs> is he expensive? I don't know if Skaven still plays. He's he's more expensive than he should be. Um but he's alright. It's it's almost like having a strength three edge five gutter. Um uh, you know he's he's got strength three and he's got two heads and, and extra arms. So it, he's almost like a strength three edge five gutter, and he's got tail, which which can do things like especially against elves. But I mean, he's not great. <laughs> well, ah yeah, so he f he made that dodge to fill in, so he could just get the push to free his strength four. Yeah, see, this uh, bludger is just taking up the blitz, and no one else is getting hurt. And 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 took uh, took the action of Hackfam to stand next to him. Yeah. But wow, we're going for the full the full tato. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. 
people watching this right now, go put on the Tato song and enjoy. T A Great Tato. That's that's uh, yeah. I guess we could have a, a touchdown off with high elves and scaven. Yes, that that's that's like I mean you don't I guess you don't mind them scoring right. The the, the problem is like I, I do let I do mind them scoring. Um, I assume that by the time this obviously this is on Twitch now, and I assume by the time this is on YouTube, anyone who cares about my channel will have watched my game versus Rick. Um, <laughs> in my game versus Rick, I didn't really want to let him score at all because. You know, when he's on defense, he can roll a blitz. He can he can make things happen on defense, and he can turn me over, right? So, I'm gonna defend really hard against against Rick because I don't want to let him score because he can turn me over. And this Skaven team can turn can turn over these elves, right? He's got he's got some wrestle, strip, tackle. He's got a wizard. Things can happen. So I would definitely not want to let them score. And there you go. He's got four dice, but only with wrestle and doesn't get him down. And he, he let him pass there, and like I know, it, it's obviously easier said than done, right? You can't just stop Skaven scoring, but I think yeah. he could have tried harder to stop Skaven scoring than what he did. Basically, like he put two guys down. I didn't think he needed two guys down the field and stuff. Like I think, he, I think he, well, it wasn't this one, was it? It was the Bludge Blitzer and this guy. I think he maybe he's over pursued a little bit, and uh, you know, didn't keep the tackle. Maybe he's deep enough and stuff like that. I think there's things he could have done better. To just like try and defend hard. I think he should have tried. To, I think he should have tried to defend hard because his team is better, isn't it? Yes. Although while we were talking, Hackflin got removed, so yeah. there's some inducements gone. Yeah, that was a massive removal. Yeah, completely glossed over the gigantic removal of, <laughs> of, <laughs> of the strength three edge five cutter, which is kind of a big deal. But you know, never mind. It always feels bad when you've bought this player, expensive player, and like turn two, he's like, oh, he's gone. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like when you value the wizard, it's like it's one fifty for for like the threat of the wizard and one turn of a wizard. But like a star player for two hundred and thirty or whatever, well, you're getting sixteen turns out of him. Well, not when not when you get four turns out of him <laughs> or three turns <laughs> out of him. It becomes much worse value, especially on this scaven team with no bench. Like. Yeah, but at least he gave him the bench. You know, like a player would have been removed yeah. that turn. So at least he gave him a bench. I, I do like I, I like I liked uh, Rick's choice of Hemlock. Just you know, like I think he had to get it star, you know, rather than a you know a something else like something more esoteric like a like a uh, halfling chef. But at least at least getting that getting a star gets you the bench, isn't it? So a lot of times and a lot of times I would rather go a star than a wizard just to get the bench. You know, like if this was closer TV. There would be an argument for getting Hackflem just to get the bench than getting a wizard, and it, it would be a bizarre argument because obviously a wizard with <laughs> with an edge five and an edge six is <laughs> is an auto take. But there there would be times when I would, with lizard men yeah. particularly, go silly Billy. Uh, Sixteen turns of silly Billy is almost certainly better than one turn of a wizard, right? One extra source instead of a shitty skink on the field as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's, it, silly Billy's probably the best start. In the game because he's yeah. he's replacing a skink with a saurus. I don't think I've ever seen this. Both players having kick like yeah. let's try and get the blitz. Yeah, it's a kick off. He kicked <laughs> it to where he was defended as well. Hilariously, <laughs> didn't he? He could he could have kicked it over this side. Yeah. Where's... <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the thing with Cheney, you've already got two two wolves. Like okay, he is replacing a zombie, but you've already got two wolves, and like Cheney is awesome. You know, don't get me wrong. And well, I don't like that one dice. Was there a one dice? He just one dice. Oh because... god! Why did he? Why? And what? How? Did guard in the wrong place? I guess. Yeah. Maybe if a, a guard didn't get killed on the LOS last turn, he would have had guard there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's that's the thing, but I think that's the thing. I think I think the thing with Silly Billy is that it just adds so much more. Getting that seven. Oh my God, he's abandoned. He's abandoned the ball because double ones don't happen. But they do happen. 
Oh no. Oh, I'm scared, Jim. I'm oh, scared. Also, you just left this guy back. Shouldn't you bring this guy up first? Yes. I think he was going to pass to him. That's why he went back with the kicker. Oh, what a dickhead. I mean, no offence. <laughs> if you're watching Phil, just... <laughs> he's going to do some, like, high elf shit when he's, like, passing the ball and getting SPP and... Versus a Skaven team with two agility <laughs> five. Well, an agility five and essentially an agility six player for in a lot of situations. I don't think that's the time to be thinking, I should be doing vanity passes here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time to be exceedingly safe and have, like, layered screens and everything. Because, I mean, there's really not much you can do against the wizard anyway, right? Like, yeah. this wizard is even worse than Rick's wizard. Because he's got an Edge Six Dodger that just comes in, picks it up wherever it is, gets out, passes it to somebody. Like it's horrendous again. Like this wizard is this team with. Well, even just is, hands off because he's so fast and doesn't care about your tackle. Yeah, exactly. Like it's insane. Hello, Pedro. I like how he. Uh... Well done. <laughs> oh, hello, Pedro. I like how he removed the tackle zone off the ball when he didn't even need to because he's got a spare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Screaming. But it makes a pocket for him, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right, and it was a good player to hit as well. Match five wrestle. Very good player to take to Pound Town. This this screen almost does nothing. <laughs> like it's pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> it literally does nothing against this guy. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh well, he doesn't get to use that guy. So, uh, which cut of him are we scoring on, Jim? Yeah, or the one with the ball. You're not, you're not, you're not being fancy. Exactly right. You're playing against, you're playing against wood, uh, high elves. elves. I nearly said wood elves. You're playing yeah. against elves. You don't do anything fancy. You just, you just take the score. You know, on, on twos, and, and that's it. Oh, oh God. I mean, it wasn't wrong to screen. It's just, it's just sad that it's <laughs> that it's so ineffective against the match five he just failed a dodge or something there didn't he and got cast yeah he failed it crew tackle and then uh used his apple but maybe just basing up was better like yeah, yeah i know you're elves but he's also scaven he doesn't care about your screen yeah like he, he he is the bash team in here like there is a strength four and there are there is a, a guard and a mighty blow but yeah he, he's also got a bunch of strength too so the elves should have probably been, you know, try to be the orcs in this matchup, as Purple Chess loves to say, more than probably anybody should ever enjoy saying. <laughs> yeah, you know, you ask yourself who was the beatdown to, to do the Mike yes. Flores article, which is I prefer, which is the the thing I prefer to say rather than Purple Chess, who was the orcs. Uh, I prefer the who was the beatdown, and also like who has inevitability as well to. Uh, Two maybe very uh, nerdy Magic the Gathering references, but I think they're quite relevant to Blood Bowl. So there you go. So I'm going to keep saying them. If you don't like it, you can fuck off. <laughs> it's fair enough, isn't it? Well, Jim, I think the high off competition might be out. <laughs> I don't know. It's not. It's not over yet, is it? Like it's not over. Like this is the thing. Like with when you've got teams like this, there's just a lot of dice, isn't there? Yeah. And and there you go. There's like a this. Pal. Yeah. There's a pal. A removal. <laughs> and like you can't really do anything to stop the Skaven doing things, but also they can just double one, can't they? In inopportune mo moments and maybe cast themselves. <laughs> so. Did he have an extra movement? Oh, I guess he stood up. So, oh god, here we go, Edge Five, making all of the dodges, but tackle is there. Oh god, he's cast himself. <laughs> he does two dodges, and he gets to the tackle guy, and he's like, "Oh shit, I'm tripped, I'm tripped." <laughs> oh, he should have taken a leap, and then he could have leapt over there, and then he would have still failed. No, he might have worked with a leap. Yeah, because he dodged twice first, so. Mm.
I mean, the, the, the th yeah, 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 he did literally cast himself on a dodge. I was thinking more of, again, the Rick game where he double one and cast, him, cast his best player on, on a ridiculously good shot to win the match. And, and it can, it can turn like, it can, it can turn on a, on a, you know, on a dime, can't it? Uh, it can look very strong and then as long as, as long as one team can make the other team make a critical one in 36, that critical one in 36 can fail, isn't it? A lot of times you'll see people complaining about all the ones they've rolled, but a lot of them didn't really matter, or they should have made less of them be critical fails, right? Where we talk about moving the ball before taking a block, or just moving players you can move before taking that one block. Yeah, yeah there's all sorts of things. Um... I've got no idea, Johnny Five. We'll let you go. I mean, Brexit was an absolute shambles, wasn't it? But Brexit's got to be the biggest, the biggest shambles ever. <laughs> 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 because you know, I, I don't want to talk politics on a Blood Bowl stream. But what I find hilarious was there were two facts produced by either side, and one was by the wrong side, and the other was a complete. Completely made up. Oh my god, he rerolled pushes into dub skulls. There you go, things like that can happen. So now we've got. Oh, it's turn eight, so he just he just bangs it in, doesn't he? Yeah. Go. Goes 2 0 up on his drive. Pretty good, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, perfect eight turn stall. <laughs> yeah, good winners are ridiculously fast. Yep. He's not even blitzing the screen, he's just like, eh, yeah. I'll walk past that, that's fine. He probably should have done, though. But, oh, no, he, you know, it's, it's not a screen because he just goes there. Like, yeah, he just, he just, I, I was thinking this guy, but he can just move this guy, so there's, there, isn't, there isn't anything in the way. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it was only a screen if he didn't move this guy, but he can just move him and there's nothing. So yeah, that's looking uh, looking very good for the rats. Tune it up with a wizard. <laughs> I think well, when he went for the sack on the ball, he was dodging the tackle players when he was doing all those dodges. Yeah, I think that was, yeah, exactly. He's been burned before by making tackle yeah. dodges. <laughs> well, at least he's learned his lesson. Yeah. So there's obviously no anti one turn set up here, so the the one turn is is very much on. Yeah, this is where the uh, no bench can really screw you over. Yeah. And also, if he gets like a quick snap or something, and still has his blitz, he can just blitz past the goal and. Uh... That's terrible, isn't it? Like, okay, he's got sidestep, so it doesn't matter as much. But I still think it's terrible. I think it's. I just think it's terrible to have a tight balls. But I guess it's less yep. less impactful against sidestep. Don't think there's any reason to not have a tight LS. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's there's never a reason. Well, I guess perfect defense. You can move to the other side. Uh, okay. But but that's like what's in a wishing for. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, against against sidestep, it might be better. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. The chance of the perfect defense might be worth it, making it you know slightly worse most of the time. Um, but it's still still real bad. I'm sure. I'm sure it's it's worse. Could this rock have ruined it though? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still still fine. Oh, only a one D though. Oh, easy one dice. Easiest one dice yeah. of my life. Yeah, so it was a one D because of the rock. Yeah, less three D. So yeah, maybe actually, maybe it's actually better again sidestep because it yeah it reduces the three Ds and it also. Uh... But then they've got more follow-up blocks if they power you can the first still, two. You can still have them one apart though, can't you? You don't have to put them all apart. You yeah. can have them one apart. 
Yeah, but it, it, you're... <laughs> It, that'll probably stop the three Ds as well. You can probably make three pals. You can with this. You can probably make three pals to get in. You probably don't even need any pushes by by doing tight against Sister. You can probably just literally roll three pals. <laughs> but there you go. He got his one turn. Congrats to the tight. Yep, did the right things. We've got some good KO rolls. Oh, we've got all the KOs back. Yeah, so he's he's got a full team, hasn't he? He's got well. It's got 11 players. It's not a full team because he's down the Ad 5 wrestler. Roger even. He, of course, crappy high elf catchers have to get dodge manually. Every high elf has to get dodge. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, really as, a, as, as opposed to wood elf catchers, that's what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, pro elves also have to get have to get dodge, don't they? And, uh... It always feels so bad when you're an elf team, you're like, I have to... Use my first skill on dodge, and then I'll get other stuff. Yeah, it is good that they can get wrestle, like it, you know, like that. It is nice that they can get Roger on them, whereas you know, uh, some other players, <laughs> like uh, say Pro Blitzers and War Dancers, generally, it, they find it harder to take wrestle, don't they? Because they've already paid for duck block. Oh right, yeah, it's the it's the high elf drive, isn't it? I forgot. I was I was turned around there at the end. Right, so it's the pro. It's the so they can make this two two. Hope they don't one turn and win overtime. I still got the wizard though. Well, Although let's hope he's learned from his last mistake of uh, we can't roll double ones and fail this pickup. Yep. Yeah, exactly, Mangle. Yeah, I well, so exactly Red Hell. Yeah, the, the Wood Elf catch is a huge, huge nerf. In a, it's actually a pretty substantial nerf in 2020, them, them losing spring. You know, one extra, one extra push for a one turn is a big deal. This is a bit dodgy. Like, okay, he's the one you want to hit, but he's the one you can hit. You know, so like he's he's taken three players away from the big blob to to go and hunt him. I don't think that was worth it. I think look how much stronger his position is if he if he's got a guy in there and he's blitzing him. And then, you know, it's just it's just way better, isn't it? Even just blitzing that storm vermin, like it's still a guard piece, and you're still centered. Yeah. You're also oh, seventy five. You're seventy five percent to knock him down as well. Then he doesn't have kick anymore as well. So like. Fine. Yeah, kick could be a thing in overtime. Like, if he removes him, then suddenly no kick in overtime. He can't go for the blitz. Yeah. But it looks like both players are just running backwards. So he he did cover the ball that time. Yeah, he learned this time. He had a, he had a nice little screen for picking up the ball. Uh, no dancers are like catchers because they've got they've got the exact same stat line as a catcher, haven't they? Hit three four seven. Um, they just start with blodge. <laughs> <laughs> are they the same price? Yeah, they're, they're no, they're ninety, but then they're not much. They're not much less. <laughs> <laughs> like war dancers are insane value. Like they're just, they're so ridiculously, ridiculously good, and they don't even pay for it with the rest of the team or anything. You know, like wood elves are still a really good team. Like wood elf linos are still really good. It's not as if they're. They're paying for the privilege of getting dancers. They're just an unbelievable te player on a, on a really good team. It's like it's crazy. Ooh, are we foul then? I I've got no idea what he's doing. I think we're fouling the tackler. Right. Okay. I'm good, I guess. <laughs> Not what I would have done. <laughs> I reckon it's all right. It worked out. But who can say if I would have got sent off, Garen fucking teed to probably not <laughs> even stun him. <laughs> but yeah, it worked out well. Yeah, he got a trade. I mean, okay. The thing is that as much as he's a mighty blow tackler, I'm much more concerned about the wizard and the edge six. <laughs> <laughs> and all the other good ones because they're all pretty good. Yeah, yeah, like it, this one can easily take the ball off you. You don't have sure hands here? Yeah. yeah, very hard to get sure hands on, on 
would like we're all on elves in general like just because it's not very sexy is it you know you want your bludge like with high elves you've got to take your bludge and your rodge and then you obviously you sidestep you want tackle you've got to get because you've got to be able to get ball carriers down so this guy would maybe get show hands at 76 but uh, he hasn't got yeah it i wouldn't need it um there's also uh i guess wood elf throwers if you take a thrower you can get a show hands quickly Yes, yeah. If you if you actually take throwers, then you can go blood to your hands. But I don't like sh I don't like throwers. <laughs> I've seen blood leader show hands. But... Yeah, yeah. Blood leader. Yeah, show hands. I mean that's fine, isn't it? It's just it's just the problem is you generally want the show hands on the catcher. Like show hands on the catcher is better because he's movement eight and he's blood step. You know, like, like, how yeah. much better is this guy with sure hands than a shitty thrower? Like, he's so much better. Or well, this add five that's cast. If he if he had taken block first and then gone add five, he would have gone sure hands, right? And then the, those guys are just amazing. That's who you want handling the ball, not some movement six idiot. <laughs> oh right, here comes the fireball. Greedy, isn't it? Greedy going for a fireball. That's that's incredibly greedy. Incredibly greedy. And even make a. Oh, maybe that removal. Can you make two days? Oh, yes. Never mind. Easy. Yeah, cause best fireball ever. Yeah, yeah. This guy's the recovery. So, but like the fact that these were guards, I, I don't know. Like knocking this guy down isn't enough, and knocking this I... guy down isn't enough. Knocking either of these two down is seventy-five, but knocking him down is eighty-three. So I'd have just gone for just gone for the ball. I guess there's a payoff of knocking multiple down. Like it's not terrible and, to knock these down. And they're also oh, so they can probably catch it pretty easily. But you've got yeah. strip ball, so. Yeah. And they are high value players as well, right? Like the, there is the element of that these were like blood, like dodge guard and dodge guard and blood guard. Well, no, both just dodge guards. They were high value players to hit, but it was still a bit greedy. And I think when you've got when you've got this guy who can just guaranteed get it basically. Um. Maybe you don't need to be greedy. Yes. I guess that's the thing, thinking of like, I have to be greedy because I lose if I don't. Or yeah. I'm fine if I just take the safe play and... Uh... Yeah, exactly. I felt like, I felt, I feel like with an Ash 6 recovery. <laughs> 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 you can kind of ignore the rest of the cage and just bolt. But, but yeah, with the fireball, it did give you an upside of just... You know, the casing the people. Like, I mean, that you can't write off the fact that, you know, you're paying 150 to remove a guy. How much is this guy worth? The fuck off. <laughs> oh my god, you shithead game. Catcher with dodge guards, so that's like 140. So, like, the wizard's paid for itself just by the removal, hasn't it? I mean, well, not really, because it's turn 12, but... It got a KO as well. Yeah, but like you know what I mean, like the, the, this place. Yeah. Like that, so, so if it was an early, an earlier fireball like that would have been better, right? Because the earlier greedy fireball has got more payoff through the rest of the match. Whereas at this point, that's less relevant. Removing that guy. Yeah. All you want to do is get the ball, and get it safe. Yeah. Is he going to dodge here to get the guard in? Or, or he probably could. He's not going to do it. He's just going to go for the uphill. Gets the strip. Strip's just stupid against this team, isn't it? It's just like, you've got an edge six guy. He's just, whoop, there we go. You <laughs> might have to go. face this team soon. No, not soon. That's, uh, mm. Eventually. <laughs> no, I'm, there's no way I'm facing this team. <laughs> there's literally, There's literally no way I'm facing this team. Because uh, I'm almost certainly not getting past Cruz. <laughs> if I get to if I get to Cruz, which I'm which I'm may very well not get to Cruz. Um, it's Cruz of Valley. It's like it's Alma Forever, which I probably I think I'll probably lose that one. And then it's Cruz of Valley, which I probably lose. Then it's Elio that I probably lose. So you know, <laughs> I'm like I'm not. I've got I got a pretty bad draw. Me and Rick got got a pretty bad draw all round. <laughs> because even if we can, even if we could win our first game, we were up against it all all through the all through the process. It's pretty hard. 
Rick probably didn't even mind losing. He was like, ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he's... Oh, this is a nice chain, isn't it? Nice chain here. It's a shame it took the Vivo, but yeah. Yep. It's been... Kicker, let's go, kicker. Can he get the pow? No good. Yes, I wouldn't take HMP. So he, does he just does he just bang it in or does he try and stop it? I mean, you can bang it in because you've got the one turn, can't you? Yeah, like. And if he one turns, you just one turn back? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just see one turns for six turns. Yeah. Glorious. There was a match like that on Fumble, you know, it was like it was like something like 14-13 or something. <laughs> 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 they, just, they just got loads of one turns. <laughs> He does all that and then just scores anyway. I mean, it's fair enough, right? Making all the safe moves in case you double one. Double ones do happen, but yeah, he did. He did just bang it in. Yeah, I guess because of the chain push, always plays in one spot, so we can just. Yeah. Say. Yeah, m move them all to cover the double one, because, you know, double ones happen. Um... Like um, the high off learnt in the first half. <laughs> yeah. When he tried to pick the pool. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Mango. Yeah, we, there was there was there weren't many games that were like that, but there there were some games that were like that. There was one game where I failed about four one turns in one match <laughs> against Wayne Farrow. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. But a lot of the other games, I didn't even try one turners, and then the games where I tried them, I just bloody double one, double one, double one, over and over again. <laughs> bloody gym dice yeah. striking again. Oh God, a blitz! Oh well. Ripper only. So he was going for the one turn, which is fair enough. Um, oh, he's done a far kick as well. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God, yeah, bits. touchback. Holy moly, it's a touchback with the, with the kick. Boy, howdy. Yeah, yeah, give, giving giving Adge 5 rats the ball for free is... I mean, you know, he didn't give him it, right? He did one thirty six, but also, like, even if there had been cover, it was just the it was just the fail, really. To to be fair, to be fair to uh, Fatal Justice, even if he had covered, and I guess there's an argument for it's not worth covering it, because even if you cover it, the fuck are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Is he still going for it? Oh. I guess you're just gonna potato. Like, look, I at, guess you'd... look at this motherfucker. What do, what do you do against him? <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Why even bother? He even got block eventually. He was like, ah, I better take block. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, so, I guess he's choosing to score on that one. Yeah. So, so like, I guess that's the th like, that's the attitude is that, you know, there's no real, like, okay, you can... Because everything's got a cost, hasn't it? So, like, by not covering it and moving him to there first... I mean, I still think it was shit because you could have just not moved him. But... I mean, if, maybe if, if he had, something like... Interesting, if he'd done something interesting with the guy that would have been covering, then there's yeah. payoff to then, after you pick it up, you know, something happened. But, like, what he did was just weird because it was irrelevant and didn't, and didn't really help and it didn't have to be done first. But there would be some payoff in just saying, "Look, if I pick, up, if I double on the pickup, I've just lost." Because I think that's quite reasonable. I think that's quite a reasonable attitude against this team. There is almost no point making safe moves first. Like obviously, his edge five wrestler did dodge through tackle, and it, it you know it didn't matter having a safe move and, have, and trying to make it a little bit harder. But there is an argument for that making it a little bit harder. Just is is there's some there's so little returns on it. You're better off adding to the returns to yourself if it works. You see what I mean? Yeah, like if he only had like two or three turns to score, then he's just not going to cover the ball because he needs those players to be upfield as much as they can, or as many as he can. Yeah. Because he only has a few turns left. Yeah. But I mean, it was on turn mm -hmm. one that he did it. But yeah. He, like, yeah. <laughs> but That's even it. even then, like I just think I just think that it's 
this team is like so ridiculous against the ball on the floor. It's not as bad to disregard failure states, basically. I think it's going to take a lot to take this team out as well. Like, it's going to need to win a game but lose players, then maybe win another game but lose players, and then maybe it'll get defeated. Yeah. But then, as, as long as it's got, as long as it's got these two cutters, it can it can easily beat anybody. But you know, you know, they 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 won't be favoured against some teams, but they'll still be able to easily beat the teams they're not favoured against. <laughs> like that's the thing. Yeah, like this is probably a good first game because he's not really lost anyone. It's not. Yeah. There are no tackle zones. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's a player standing there. I didn't see him. I see John Cena. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that was. I mean, it still took three cars, but yeah, it's a very. It was a very soft, uh, very soft high off team. But mighty blow tackle, to be fair. And one of the cars was a star. But you couldn't really like blitz with him every turn because he had to worry about other stuff in other places. Yeah. I mean, he probably should have blitzed with him every turn. He should have made it so that he should have done right. Again, yeah. he should have. He should have. Lost equity in other parts to maximise equity in other, like the way I was hitting the uh, catchers with strength 5 mighty blow, because I thought, if I just knock down this player, it's not having that much of an impact. But if I cast him, it's having a huge impact. And so I was being greedy for the huge impact, which I think is reasonable. Yes, Pedro, it, it does look rather well. It's never over, Pedro. We've got a chance. Dimmy will ban you from chat if you say it's over. You've got to be a dickhead to think this is over. <laughs> sorry. Well, extra turn into extra turn into extra turn. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But hey, if you're watching this game and thinking, oh, I need to learn how to one turn a bit better, watch this guy. He's doing well. Yeah, he's done, he's done the right thing. <laughs> If you want to know how to stop one turns, maybe <laughs> not put your free players against each other, against the side step in. Yeah, yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Elliot will, will take it uh, in the manner it was presented, and if it wasn't, then uh, intended, not wasn't intended. If it, you know. If anyone's ever got a problem, it's just messages. You know, I don't, I don't want to actually piss off a lady. But it was funny, wasn't it? It was funny, the whole... The whole. It's not over! It's not over! <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah, 4-2. If he gets a blitz, no, he can't do anything. Blitz count <laughs> one turn, it's still over, yeah. One turning himself straight into the open ladder. Yeah, it was completely pointless one turn, wasn't it? But you know, he, he did it. Could fit. Could argue he should have gone for Kaz and tried to make it harder for the rats next game because he'll have to have loners. Yeah, it just doesn't matter, does it? And, and you know, yeah. like uh, Flicky, I think, is one of the people who's like, you know, no hard feelings, mate. I won't hit you guys. It's the end of the game, you know, no need to vindictively hit anybody, whatever. But, like, and, you know, there's there's no real difference, right? Because, like, at the end of the day, you're playing... Well, you've gone out, and there's, so there's, there's 63 teams left. 62 of them, you are, you are harming 62 people a tiny amount if you don't remove... You know, if you don't... Let's say, let, you know, if you don't try to cas... If you try to cas or don't try to cas then you're either hurting one person or you're hurting 62 people one sixty-tooth of them as much, <laughs> aren't you? Do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. it's, it is literally six and two threes. It's like, it just doesn't matter, you know? So just do whatever you want <laughs> at the end of Ma the day. It might matter later on when uh, there's, <laughs> like, only four people left or whatever, and you're like, well, my friend's in the other group, yeah, so I'll, I'll give I him a chance. So. I guess so. Yeah, he's just rolling dice with his best players, pointlessly. <laughs> Who's to say if it's right or wrong? 
One in 36s don't matter. I guess he's practicing one turns. I mean, yay. <laughs> I mean, he's practicing one turns, but is it the correct way to do it is the main thing? I mean, maybe he's got it. Was there was like side stuff and everything? It could yeah. have been. I, I, I wasn't watching. Oh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention either. It just seems. It just seems stupid to like maybe he's roll a double one and kill your best player. <laughs> like okay, you get three SPP maybe, but like, what if you what if you just what if you just cast your Raj five? <laughs> It doesn't level him, it but it gives him three more as we thought. Didn't didn't level. <laughs> oh yeah, very clever whiskey dick. Didn't think of that, yeah. So so yeah. You know, like but it literally doesn't matter. Even and if they, even if there's like four then it's it either screws him over the final or it screws his opponent over the final. So however many people are left in at any stage, it is just six and two threes. Oh, he got he got a level up on his on his storm vermin. That's Ooh. that's nice for him, isn't it? Um, I have some claw or some pylon. Yeah. So there you go, five two. What a crazy score line. It's it's weird, isn't it? And there wasn't really that much wrong. There was there was the unprotected pickup, but at the end of the day, even if it had been protected, we had two heads and edge five, so it probably wasn't gonna matter. You know, it was just a double one pickup and then. Some one turns. What this? There was two one turns from the high guess, elves, wasn't there? I guess you could also argue if he had more players over there, he might be able to take it back easier. Oh yeah, like it would have. It would have helped, obviously, having cover yes. there. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, having cover there helps, but also against an edge six yeah. <laughs> player, how much help is it really? So, but yeah, I don't think there was a cost to helping it. So I think he should have. I think he should have kept the cover there. And then you know, like I don't think there was payoff to not having cover. If there was payoff to not having cover, I would have disliked it less. <laughs> yes. And and arguably been the right thing. Like every turn, you can play the safest it's possible to play and play around a one in twelve, one in twelve, nine, six block every turn. But there's often going to be like this. It's going to be more often that moving a player first is going to pay more dividends than than you know. Like so, you know, not playing like doing the block first is going to have more dividends than moving moving the safe players, because you're only going to one in twelve nine six one in twelve nine six times, right? <laughs> that is a very small sliver of equity, and and it depends it depends how brutal the one in the one in twelve nine six is to you. So sometimes you know you should absolutely play around the one in twelve nine six when the one in twelve nine six loses you the game straight up. Then yes, you should. But a lot of the time, you're going to get more benefit from from doing the block first and seeing what happens and then being able to move people further and things like that. So it's not always right to do the safe moves first, or, you know, and whatever. And and you can forgive him a bit if, but there, there wasn't really payoff, so he, he should have he should have been safe. Yeah. But anyway, it's also like in uh, chess where you need to think on the turns ahead. Be like, well, I want my players up here for next turn, yeah. and not just stuck in the OS. But yeah, exactly, and 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 if and if you you get punished one in thirty six times, well, there you go. That's that's the risk you've got to take, right? It, it, it's yeah. totally fine. So there you go. Commiserations, fatal justice. C uh, congratulations, Malal something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there you go. Uh, congrats to him. Um, I am. No one's, <laughs> yes. no one's gonna miss Natties. <laughs> Calcium. <laughs> <laughs> no one's no one's gonna miss Natties. But um hello Calcium. Thank you very much, Muppet, for the for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious. No and uh thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>